in React, uh, leading uh, UI Common Library for React. Uh, how many of you are using uh, React? Uh, okay. Yeah, as yes, per Chris, uh, React phone, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about uh, uh, all the popular uh, single based application frameworks. Uh, yeah. So uh, to, now we are going to see which component library we, we need to choose. Till now we saw which framework uh, we, need to choose, we need to choose. Now we are going to see which uh, component library we need to select in uh, React code. Both me, I'm a founder of Gecko Tech, and I'm an author for uh, four books. Uh, I'm writing my uh, fourth book on uh, Prime NG for Angular applications. Uh, okay, I won't recommend it for uh, Chris. <laughs> 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 and uh, I'm a trainer as well. I am review for a few books, and open source contributor for uh, Prime Pages and uh, Prime Pages extensions. That is for JSF. This is about me. Uh, now we'll start with the introduction about this uh, Prime React and what are the features we are going to with that and how to use that and we'll see a uh, quick demo as well. And then at the end uh, we'll see what are the new features in Prime React. <coughs> Actually I gave my uh, talk on uh, Prime NG on Angular uh, two months back. Uh, I escaped it from uh, Chris. Good. Uh, introduction. Um, it's a sibling of uh, Prime Pages. That is for uh, JSF applications. If you know about Java, uh, if you are from Java background, then you might know about JSF. And uh, uh, it is a sibling for uh, Prime NG also for Angular applications. Uh, it is started recently in 2017, uh, three months back, uh, uh, from Prime Tech company. And they are good in uh, component libraries. Uh, they are creating common libraries for uh, uh, different technologies, uh, not just for JSF. So they are doing it for uh, Angular, uh, Prime, uh, uh, React, and they are planning for Vue.js as well. Uh, and uh, the uh, this initial version is all about recently only, uh, three three weeks back, and uh, there are going to be uh, so many components and many features in the uh, uh, future releases. Why we need to choose this Prime React? Uh, first of all, why we need to choose this EA component libraries? Uh, we can go with the plain uh, single based application framework, right? Uh, but the thing is, uh, if you want to develop in a uh, large scale application, uh, you don't want to develop from the uh, uh, scratch, creating the components, custom components, and uh, getting the components from different libraries. Because uh, in React world, most of the components are scattered. I mean, uh, maybe one or two components developed by some community, and they mainly focus on particular technologies like um, Google Material Design or Bootstrap, or they might be related to one particular area like data table, uh, tree table, and charts. So, but we don't have all this collection of components in single place. So you are going, you are going to get all these things in uh, Prime React. So it's not only about components. Uh, there will be so many uh, themes as well. So you can change the themes at any time. And you can get the templates also. Uh, as of now, there are around 40 components uh, in this Prime React, in the initial release itself. And uh, they are planning for uh, uh, 70 more components, totally. And this is a, a purely open source and uh, under uh, mid license. So you don't have a problem with this um, uh, license. And uh, there are uh, many customizable themes also. As of now, uh, uh, there are around 18 themes. So you don't need to worry much on these themes, uh, like uh, use the whether I need to use Bootstrap or some other themes. So all these themes are already available. So if you want to use it for different clients, then you can switch that uh, uh, different themes. So it won't uh, impact your application. And uh, you can get templates also uh, from uh, Prime React. 
So, uh, what are the common features you are going to use? So, you can get it from <coughs> templates. And uh, there is a good community support for this prime tag, uh, for JSF and uh, I mean this prime phases and uh, uh, prime ng. The same thing is applied for uh, this prime react also. <coughs> and this showcase is very good. Uh, you can find all the documentation examples. Uh, and if you want to develop any application, you can just uh, you can get it from the <coughs> showcase. So you can implement them. So these are the advantages of uh, Prime React compared to other libraries. Where Prime React stands in React world, <coughs> actually the, all these components are pure native components. So you're not going to in integrate with other uh, external libraries. So you don't need to worry on that. Uh, and uh, these are not limited to particular area, as I mentioned earlier. This is not just for Google Material Design or this is not just for uh, uh, Bootstrap. Okay, you can use it whatever the uh, external libraries you want to use. And this one is optimized for mobile also, not just for uh, desktop. But this uh, Prime React is uh, mainly focused on web-based. Okay, uh, it's not like for uh, um, native React native. And what are the technology stack uh, uh, you can see in this Prime React? Um, you can find HTML5, CSS3, and SAS technologies. And <coughs> accessibility support, uh, this is uh, much required for uh, uh, users. And uh, you can find Google Material Design as well. And uh, for images, I mean, uh, for quick response and all, uh, inside of this Prime React, uh, there are image sprites. So instead of using multiple images and making multiple requests, you can make an, uh, you can create a single image. So and you can you can use it for uh, across the application. So it will improve the performance. And uh, there is a support for font awesome icons also. So you can use whatever the icons you want to use. And here. Uh, it is preferred CSS over JS. So JS will take more time for execution and all. So wherever it is possible, CSS is replaced with this JS. And how to use this Prime React? Mm. Uh, this is very simple to use. Uh, whatever the component you want to use it, just you need to import that particular module. For example, if you want to use the data table, you can get it from Prime React uh, data table specific module. So you don't need to import everything. And, it, uh, and how you will use this component is just like an, any other React component, uh, just like an HTML component, how you are going to use the same thing will apply here. Uh, here uh, we are using input text component. This is a basic input text. And uh, for this input text, uh, themes will come by default. So there will be one default theme. Uh, so you don't need to worry about the themes. Uh, for example, hover, um, on change, uh, and different events, uh, the theme will change. So you don't need to worry on the uh, CSS side. This is one of the template from Prime React, uh, the ultimate template. So uh, if you want to have uh, some common uh, use cases, then you can go to the templates, list of the uh, templates, and you can choose uh, which one is right for you. And uh, so there are so many component libraries, but at the same time, we need uh, to run your application uh, without um, much much configuration. So you should run within two minutes. Okay, you don't need to configure all the things. Uh, the same thing applies for uh, Angular or whatever the single single page applications. So even in React JS, especially for this Prime React, uh, there is a CRA project. So um, you can get it from that uh, uh, GitHub repository. Uh, and there you can find uh, one simple component, how to use that. And, and after that, you can add all your components and you can develop your project. And we will go to the demo. 
Uh, here I'm going to uh, show you about GitHub viewer. So if you want to see the uh, GitHub user profile information and what are the uh, GitHub repositories under your account and if you want to add nodes uh, for your account, uh, how we are going to do. So this one we are uh, we developed with this uh, React and uh, Prime React. We will go into this uh, demo. <coughs> Here we are going to access GitHub API. So for this we are using Axios. So, uh, we are going to access GitHub API. Within this, we are going to access user information and repository information. So, so initially, uh, we are going to get this information based on the uh, username, GitHub username. And routes, uh, we are going to provide through uh, uh, React route. Um, and after that, we need to create components. Initially, we'll start with user profile. So in this case, uh, I want to lay out all the user information in a uh, particular <coughs> panel. So here I'm going to use field, field set. This is just like any, any other React component. There is no much configuration on this. So you just need to know what are the attributes you are going to provide for the component. So in this case, legend. Uh, for the title, we are going to use this legend. And toggleable. Uh, I want to uh, expand and collapse. If you don't want to see the uh, user information, you can collapse that. And <coughs> we are going to display all the information like username and uh, email and who are the followers. So that inf entire information you can see uh, with this, um, with the help of this field set. And then how to get this repos. So here we are going to get all the repo links and the description of uh, your repository. Uh, for this, we are going to use data list component. So you will get list of all repositories uh, with the help of value attribute. And within item template, you are going to define how you want to customize your uh, display. I mean, uh, each repository. This repo template going to be used here. So. Here I'm going to display the URL of the repository, GitHub repository, and the description of that repository. So here we just need to get that repository list, and uh, uh, <coughs> we need to prepare the item template. So then we can design that entire uh, repository information. So there are many uh, many other uh, properties also like pagination, filter, all those things. So it depends on your requirement. And after that, uh, how to add uh, notes to your repository. Uh, you can add comments and all those things. Here also I'm going to use this data list component uh, to display all the list of uh, notes. So now we are going to see that demo. So if you want to set <coughs> any particular GitHub account, No, uh, this is not the one. Yeah, here we can see uh, that particular repository. On the left hand side, you can see all the information like followers and uh, location. And then, uh, so we, here we are using this field set component. So you can uh, collapse it and expand it. Uh, that is the feature from Prime React uh, field set. And on the center side, you can see the list of repositories. Uh, each one with uh, uh, what are the repositories under this uh, account? Able to maximize. Yeah, see, at the bottom you can find that uh, pagination also. So you can navigate across all your repositories. And the right hand side also, you can have nodes. <coughs> so 
So you can add uh, Hollywood nodes uh, for that particular repository. So you can find uh, this GitHub information with this Git, uh, GitHub viewer. So that, uh, this, uh, this repository is there in GitHub, so you can check that. And if you want to add more features, you can do that. And the next one is, uh, if the component library is good in, in different ways, we saw that already maturity and flexibility and so many things. So those things are not only, in, uh, that is not enough for that. So we should, we need a good documentation as well and showcase as well for any uh, application framework or component library. Then only it will be uh, used by many developers. And first you should know how to use that. And then only you can recommend uh, any uh, framework or a common library. So the good thing about this uh, primary uh, primary is there is a good uh, showcase. So you can see all the list of uh, components and their features also. Uh, this is the same thing for uh, prime basis and uh, prime ng. Uh, there is a very good documentation, and so you can uh, go to that uh, uh, in the prime basis website, and you can find this uh, showcase. I will just go to this uh, showcase. So here you can find out all the uh, list of cat uh, cat uh, categorized uh, uh, components, uh, input components and data components, charts. So uh, this is a good thing about this uh, Prime React. And Prime React is uh, uh, in initial stage only. It started uh, two months back only. So you might get doubt like it's very uh, new and how we are going to use that. But uh, there is a good background from uh, uh, Prime Tech. Mm, uh, there is a huge, huge success in uh, uh, Prime Pages and Prime NG. So they developed around uh, 100 components uh, in each of those libraries. So they are going to apply the same rule for this uh, uh, Prime React also. And uh, so their philosophy is same. Uh, so you'll, they are going to focus on the components. They already have all these themes and templates and everything in all these libraries. And the only focus is on uh, creating the components. And they already have uh, some prototype and what are the components we need to develop. The same thing applies here also. And based on the community support also, they are going to create uh, uh, new components and new features also. And the next release, there is more focus on data iteration components like data table, tree table. So, because most of the uh, enterprise applications are using data components. Um, and then apart from that, uh, not only these components, and uh, there is a more focus on accessibility also, because uh, it is recommended by many clients. And uh, there is a RTL support also, right to left um, uh, support. So, uh, these are the... Uh, future plan for the next release uh, and it is going to be on the uh, ne next week actually. Uh, so at the end they are planning for uh, 70 plus components. So you can go and look into that and uh, then it's better to use for enterprise. Uh, instead of going to the multiple libraries in uh, React world, then choose one and uh, uh, then you can implement your uh, uh, applications. Yeah. Any questions? Okay. okay. Other competitors for, for React and UI components? Uh, React, in React, uh, there are a uh, few component libraries also like uh, MetaView UI and uh, React Bootstrap and React Toolbox. Actually, uh, uh, they existed from long time. Uh, but the thing is, they mainly focus on few things they are limited to particular area only. Either it will be on data components only, or either related to bootstrap or material design. But they are, they are not covering all the things. So, uh, but if you take this prime react, it will be applied for all kinds of uh, uh, applications. That is the main advantage. Yeah. 
when you <coughs> when you look at the source of the components, are they um, are they properly uh, tested in unit tests? Is there a test harness around? So if you want to play around, that you uh, you know when you break them. Yeah, uh, these components are uh, well tested because uh, they already uh, they already uh, worked on uh, these component libraries from seven years. So yeah. so they are. Uh, they are implementing the same thing for uh, Prime React also, uh, so it's not it's not a new company actually. So uh, they are working from long time. Uh, so it wasn't exactly my question. So it's an open source library, so the source is available. When you look in the source, are the unit tests there or not? Yeah, uh, there is no. I don't know. Is a valid answer. <laughs> Unit test, yeah, um, it is done from the prime tech company, but it is not available for the outside actually. I mean, I mean for the community, the testing all those things. Okay, thanks. Uh, so I think it was uh, there before for other kind of technologies. Uh, is it uh, exactly the same functionalities that are for React and what was for I don't know, uh, GSF? Yes. Yeah. So is it exactly the same components that you have, or is it uh, one specific flavor? Because yeah. all, all those components are chosen by the community, actually. What are the um, uh, frequently used components? Uh, those are developed in uh, Prime Pages and Prime NG. So the same component is going to be developed here also. At the same time, based on the community's uh, request, uh, new component is going to be created. So it's of both. Okay, thank you. Cool.